Hello students, welcome to in 5 minutes. So now I'll be starting with my type 1 Fourier series for 0 to 2 pi. Our general range was C to C plus 2 pi. Now we'll be keeping values of C as I have mentioned different cases and we'll be solving problems with respect to that cases. So first I kept value of C as 0 so that changes my range to 0 to 2 pi. My first sum is find Fourier series of f of x that is equal to x square and 0 to 2 pi. So we know that our f of x is nothing but a0 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin nx. So now we need to find first a0, a n and b n. So I start with a0. So a0 is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx which comes to be 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi my f of x is x square. So x square into dx. So indicating that gets to be x cubed by 3 my upper limit is 2 pi lower limit is 0 which comes to be 1 upon 2 pi 1 upon 3 and 8 pi cube where I can cancel it out and it comes finally pi here comes square and I can also cancel here 2 4 so it comes value of a0 that is nothing but 4 pi square divided by 3. In the similar way, I'll be finding value of a n. So my a n is 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx. So that comes to be 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi my f of x is x square into cos n x dx students you know very well that this is u into v i have defined u into v which is generalized that is nothing but u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot 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 which comes u dash is nothing but du by dx in the same way you'll be finding higher order derivative and v1 is nothing but integration of v dx in the same way you'll be finding further integration v2 and v3 so i use my generalized u into v rule and i solve this that comes 1 upon pi here x square cos nx becomes sin nx divided by n minus differentiation of x square is 2x integration of sine becomes minus cos nx divided by n square then plus 2x differentiation becomes 2 and integration of minus cos nx becomes minus sine nx divided by n cube where i finally get my upper limit as 2 pi lower limit as 0 when i put upper limit that comes sine 2n pi here, sin 2n pi here and cos 2n pi here which gets I say when I put upper limit so I first keep 1 upon pi I say my upper limit 2 pi 1 comes sin 2n pi 0 minus 2 into x placed with 2 pi and cos 2n pi becomes 1 this minus becomes plus here multiplying with minus divided by n square and sine 2 n pi 0 so this is my upper limit minus when you put lower limit 0 0 and sine 0 is 0 so that's my lower limit so finally I get a0 as as I can cancel out pi and pi so I get a n as 4 by n square 